Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video of calculus intro, I've shown you how to differentiate a function by using the first principle, which is a limit h to o function x plus h minus function x over h. So apparently this method is very complicated and time consuming. So um, I'm going to show you some short methods of differentiation and I'm not going to show you the proof of these methods because the proof of these methods can be very complicated and require concepts that we uh, have never learned. So first one, y equals to k, in which k is a constant. In the case of a constant function, the derivative function of that would be just zero, just zero. For example, if y equals to five, the derivative function of that is just zero. Because if y equals to a constant, it will be a horizontal line, which has zero as a gradient. Okay, the next one would be a linear function, y equals to kx, where k is a constant. In this case, the derivative of the linear function would be the gradient, which is k in this case. For example, if y equals to 5x, the derivative function would be just 5. Because a linear function is a straight line and has a constant gradient. So it has the same gradient throughout the line. That's why the derivative function of a linear function would be its gradient because the gradient wouldn't change throughout the line. Okay, for the next one, we got y equals to any power of x. In this scenario, the derivative function would be n, which is a power, times x power of n minus 1. For example, if y equals to x power of 4, then the derivative of this would be 4 times x power of 4 minus 1 equals to 4x power of 3. Okay, for the next one, we got y equals to anything times x of any power. So if y equals to k x power of n, then the derivative of this would be k times the power times x power of n minus 1. For instance, if y equals to 3 times x power of 4, the derivative of that would be 3 times 4 times x power of 4 minus 1, which is 12 times x power of 3. Okay, for the last short method for this video, we got the sum of two functions. In this case, the derivative of that would be the derivative of one of the function plus the derivative of the other function. For example, if y equals to x cubed plus 2x squared, it would be just derivative of x cubed plus the derivative of 2x squared equals to 3x squared plus 4x by using the rule that I've said before. Okay, so that's all five short methods of differentiation that you need to learn. If you want, you can pause the video and take a screenshot or maybe note it down. For now, let me show you an example question that involves all these short methods. Okay, the question is, find the derivative function of y equals to bracket x plus square root x bracket squared. 
in order to solve these questions, we need to expand the expression. So x plus square root x squared equals to x squared plus 2x times square root x plus x. And for the square root x, we can write it as 2x times x power of a half. So the expression can be rewrite as x squared plus 2x power of 3 over 2 plus x. Okay, now we can actually differentiate it. The derivative function of this would be, okay, by using the fifth method of differentiation, we can separate these. like this and we can solve them separately one by one the first one would be 2x by using the fourth method of differentiation and plus 3x power of 1 over 2 because we times the power by the front and minus the power by 1 and we will get this and for the last one, it equals to 1 because of the second method that if y equals to a linear function, the derivative function of that would be just its gradient, in this case 1. Okay, so that is the answer of this question. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.